For our challenge, I'm rebuilding the burned down police station in Louisville. But what kind of police station would it be without any guns? To rectify this gunless situation, I'm going to visit the nearby army surplus store. Alas, the road there is dark and full of zombies, and loot is never guaranteed. But call strong woman one thing, call her an optimist. And this time around, I plan on stopping along the way to my destination. And the main reason for that? I want to clear out as many zombies on the road as possible. Although that might mean it's gonna take me a whole day to get there. But some things need to be done for the greater good. And killing a couple of zombies was never a problem for strong woman. See, the road is looking much better now. And they're already delivering new weapons. It is much better to stop and kill a couple of zombies. Than continue destroying your car. It certainly makes for a more interesting morning. It's a shame there's no other survivors around. I bet they would pay really well for strong woman street cleaning services. She should charge like $10 for every zombie kill. She would be pretty rich, especially considering she got all those kills in like two months. It might be a dangerous business, but it could be quite a lucrative one. I underestimated how long the road cleaning duty is gonna take, but we're finally here. Now just need to clear this horde first. And since we wanted weapons, there's an assault rifle already. Now let's see what we got in here. So far I found little but zombies. But in here? There should be more. Just need to get through first. Well, in the end, I have found actually little. There's a couple of boxes of ammo that I have, a couple of magazines, and an AK-47. But the biggest thing I found is green, which is night vision. And if you turn it on, well, you can't see shit. But that's probably because it's not night. So when it comes to guns and ammo, I really found very little. But the night vision thing is gonna be worth it. Also, I have found a much better version of my current car. And it would be a real shame if I didn't bring it home. But that doesn't mean I'm not bringing home the old one. Because two cars are better than one. Good thing I have cleaned the roads before. Apparently we're also bringing a zombie with us. We have a proper car park over here now. And the night vision works pretty great when you have to walk to this very dark place. It's actually still pretty hard to see things, but it's better. I gotta admit it's actually hurting my eyes. Yeah, I think this is still, still better. After that quite unsuccessful run, it's time we continue working on the police station. I might not have the resources to fix it all, but at least I can fix some. And to be real, I don't even think we have enough propane to actually build all the walls. And there's still a lot of walls to be built. So there are two things I want to do next. Destroy the connections to the other side, so no zombies can cross over and clear the ashes around. And this is how we separate. There's a great divide up above now. And well, the walls down below still need to be built. And now the long and tedious process of clearing out all the ashes. I swear I'm never burning anything again. Because doing this is the simple most boring thing ever in Project Zomboid. That's what you get if you're playing with fire, kids. After a whole mind-numbing day, I'm finally done. The bottom floor area is clear of ashes. But unfortunately, that means I still have the whole upper area to clear out. Screw that, I need some action. It looks like I'm getting action. Because there's a big group just decided to come in here and try to break down my doors. Now let's go find some action. And the kind of action that I had in mind is gonna be wood chopping action. Alright, that's still way too green. I can't do this. This is the junction that we cleared a couple of days ago. At first to get the garbage bags. But also because there's plenty of trees to chop down here. And if you want to actually rebuild the police station, I'm gonna need a lot of trees. And just in a matter of hours, we have 48 logs ready to go. I'll place them strategically around this place so we can use them to build floors. Now let's get some more. Unfortunately these trees don't provide me with many logs but I have to use what I've got. This is also good training for my axe skill. It is one of my lowest weapon skills mainly because I was saving axes for exactly this thing. Chopping down trees. Strong woman is now getting tired and we have another 15 stacks of logs of four. That's another 60 logs she can put to good use. Strategically place logs everywhere. Now let's fire up this bad boy because we're gonna need some nails. Now we have a lot of sawing to do and as I build these doors and the game is, keeps on telling me that I'm leveling up my level 10 carpentry, I have a question for you guys. What kind of rooms should we build over here? This place is huge and there is many things we can put down here but I'm looking at your suggestions so you can tell me what would you like to see. I have some ideas myself what we could do but I'm looking forward to hear from you guys. So so far we have the armory, we have the garage, we have the kitchen and bedroom. What should we make next? Also I clearly need more lights in
in here. Actually, maybe I don't. Oh, we have some lights that actually survived. This is great. She's been in Lue for over a month, but her work now really begins. The armory is starting to look pretty nice. Soon we'll just need flooring and then it's gonna be great. Because the walls are all done and dusted now. Question now really remains, what kind of flooring do we want in here? And which house are we gonna steal it from this time around? And that is the last floor in the armory done. Luckily, flooring doesn't require too many nails. But soon we're gonna have to do some serious metal working so we can get enough metal to make nails. All these walls and doors and buildings are gonna give zombies something to do. And that's gonna be a lot of breaking things. And that's my last nail. Which means we need to do some metal working next. And what better place for metal working than this place? Just making sure these poor zombies don't get stuck anymore. This really isn't perfect for getting metal out of it. But the fences around here are one continuous area where I can actually get some metal working done. Otherwise I have to hunt through dark burned down buildings to find metal objects to disassemble. But here it's peace and quiet. And while strong woman loves action, sometimes peace and quiet isn't so bad. And that also brought us to level 7 in metal working and 30 metal bars to melt. It does sound like we have some friends in here though. There are always friends around here. And now we wait for it to melt. Let's see what we got over here. 19 workable iron, that's gonna be great. But I'm not gonna work on this quite yet. There's another place nearby that might have some guns and ammo. I'm gonna make my way there. Once again clearing the roadblocks. But this time around, I'm gonna try leveling up my axe skill. It's time to bring it a bit higher. And with the antique axe I'm using, it is doing quite a lot of damage. And place like this is perfect for leveling. Just like I said, level 5. Just gotta be careful not to get overwhelmed. Axes used to be my favorite weapon when I first started playing Project Zomboid. But in the last couple of years, I started viewing them more as a resource for chopping wood. Too precious to be used as a weapon. These days, my favorite type of weapons is definitely long blunt. And not because the 420 blaze it. It's because it's sturdy, reliable, and doesn't quite break that often. Crowbar for a president is what I'm saying. It does look like zombies still burn down here, but hopefully not the place that I came to loot. It does look like it's not on fire yet. Now I gotta make sure that's how it stays. And these fire zombies have to die. They've been on fire for over a month now. It is about time they die. I think most of them are gone now. Time to loot. I'm not sure what type of building this used to be, but when the apocalypse happened, they repurposed it for military. Although unfortunately it's mostly clothing down here. Maybe I'm gonna get luckier up above. I would get lucky if I needed a sledgehammer because there's another one over here. Upstairs seems to be even worse than downstairs. So besides a couple of ponchos and a thick leather jacket that I found, this was a big bust. But at least I got to level up my axe skill a bit. So my time here wasn't wasted at all. And we are back home. I also brought some new cool stuff with me back home. So now we have lockers in our garage. Somehow we once again have plenty of guests here. They seem to love the sound of our generator. It's really rude of them when they interrupt me while I'm trying to make some nails. And here they are are once again. This time interrupting me while I'm trying to make metal sheets. It seems like the rain has turned into snow again. And once again I am on the road. And once again I'm going back to the same place I've been the day before. This time around I'm returning to the place to steal their floor. The place is full of smooth white tiles. And I think those would fit perfectly into my armory. Look at those beauties. And they brought fire in here. I don't think I have enough water to extinguish this fire but I'll try. Nope, I'll just do as many tiles as we can before they all burn. Luckily the fire went out, only burned this corner over here. And here I go stealing floors again. Constant interrupts from zombies don't really help here. But I have almost enough now and I have to go home because I can't carry anymore. And it's already looking much better. And there are some blood stains on the ground but I think that just adds to the charm. And there are a couple of pieces missing over here but I'm starting to think this armory is looking pretty good. I return to the scene of the crime. Crime. The crime being stealing the flooring. And the floor guardian seems to be enthusiastic again. But that's not gonna stop strong woman. In fact, she's gonna be the one to stop them. And that is a level 6 in axe now. If I ever need more white tiles, this seems to be plenty over here. But for now, we shall return back home. But at last, the place is finally complete and I think it's looking pretty nice. I wanted to check on the roof and looks like our cabbages are now young. They all seem to be flourishing, they're well watered 
shirt. Our one patch of broccoli is not quite there yet though. Now that we have some 400 extra nails, I wanted to finish flooring this place up. Unfortunately, these are our last two stacks of planks, which means we're gonna need to do some wood chopping. But before we do that, I do wanna bring some flooring in here. So let's go find some more fun tiles. I don't know if these here count as fun, but they could work. Here I go, thieving again. And not everybody wants to accept me doing that. But that seems like a dumb issue. I believe I've got enough of them. Although, truth be told, I'm not the best at math. But it is starting to look pretty good. Don't ever say anything about me and my math skills ever again. Because this worked out like a charm. Now, at this point, it would be really nice to have some of those freaking outer walls, huh? But our metal supplies are still pretty low. So this is the best I can do for now. And our propane supplies are starting to get really, really low. At this point, I fear if I use them for melting fences just to get metal out of them, I'm not gonna have enough propane to actually build the walls, which would be a big shame. So I haven't quite decided what I want to do, but I know I still want to make metal walls down below. And finally, we also have the light down here in this corridor. The police station is slowly starting to look proper, but there is still so much work to do and very little resources to be found. But if anyone can overcome this, it is strong woman.